Hey guys, welcome to the kitchen today. I'm Wanda. This is Crazy Days. I've had a lot of people ask about a dill relish recipe. Um, I might have done a video in the past on Deep South. I can't remember and I don't have time to go look. I've got cucumbers that need to be done and I don't have a whole lot and a lot of people have asked me what do you do when you only have a few? Can you save them for a long period of time? I don't leave my cucumbers in the refrigerator for more than three to five days. Five days is pushing it. And so to make relish, you can use any of your cucumbers. It doesn't matter how big. It doesn't matter um, if they've turned yellow. You don't want them past to the stage that they're already producing gigantic seeds. But if they've got a slight yellow tinge, they're okay. Deformed cucumbers, things like that are perfectly okay. Um, for the recipe that I use, this is the Ball Blue Book. It, it, in it is a dill pickle recipe. Okay, I just flip it to relish, okay? It, it's not going to hurt it. And I'm going to read you what it says, and then I take and adjust according to the amount of cucumbers that I have. Okay, it calls for eight pounds of cucumbers cut in lengths. Okay, what I do is, ever how many I have as far as cucumbers, I chop my, mine up into little, little bitty tiny chunks. And you can run them through a food processor if you like your relish, like pureed almost. But I tried that one year. I didn't like the fine relish. So I just sit and chop mine into little bitty, I don't know, quarter sized chunks, little bitty small chunks. Then there's three quarters of a cup of sugar, half a cup of canning salt, a quart of vinegar, a quart of water, three tablespoons of mixed pickling spices, and some green or dry dill. I have the dill seed, so I will adjust accordingly to this. And to know how much, that's a little bit tricky. Um, it doesn't take a lot of the dill seed here, uh, but if you have dill in your garden, go pick a head and put in each jar. Uh, if you have some dried dill, it says to take a head of the dried dill and put in each jar. Either way, you're going to wash and clean your cucumbers, of course. And mine are the Boston Pickling Cucumbers. They're all small. They have the little black prickly things on the sides and all that. So I have to scrub them. My cucumbers do not get to be gigantic big cucumbers. So you can use any type of cucumber. Like I said, it doesn't have to be pickling cucumbers. Anything you have as far as a cucumber can be done this way. I think you could probably even do squash and things like that, but I've not tried that yet. Um, you combine your sugar, salt, vinegar, and water in a large saucepan. Then you tie your spices in a spice bag and add that to the mixture. And then you simmer it for 15 minutes. Okay, so this says to take and put one of the dill heads over in each jar, but I'm using the dill seed. So I'm going to just adjust accordingly. It's probably going to be a quarter of a teaspoon or less per pint jar. And if you like dill, it's probably not going to be too dilly anyway. And then you're going to cap them and process them in a water bath canner. And you're going to process them for 15 minutes, either pints or quarts, either way you do it. But I always do mine in pints so that I don't have too much of the dill relish because once you open it, you put it in the fridge, you probably want to use it within a couple of months, one to two months. And it's re really great on hamburgers and hot dogs. It's according to how big you want your chunks on hot dogs. You can cut them up finer. Uh, I use it in potato salads, egg salad, uh, sometimes just with the hamburger. I'll just dip some out and put it on top of my hamburger because I just like, instead of having dill pickles, the relish works fine. So if you've never experimented with dill relish, you might want to try it. Make some awesome, awesome potato salad, I can tell you. Use it in place of your sweet pickles and you'll love your potato salad. So let's get busy. You saw some of my cucumbers look kind of funky. Okay, you're making relish. It really doesn't matter. And we take these off the vines because these are never going to produce anything. They're never going to get much bigger and they're not going to amount to much. So we take the weird ones off. 
and I go ahead and chop them up too. And as you can see, some of it's already yellow. That does not matter. So any size cucumbers that you have, and you see how some of them, like due to the drought, this is what they do. They go to a weird pointy. Then we have some, this is the normal pickling cucumber. This is what it's supposed to look like. They can get a little bit bigger and a little bit rounder, but I don't like all the seeds inside. And if you have a big, big cucumber that has a lot of seeds, I would suggest scooping the seeds out of the inside and just cutting up the fleshy part of the outside. The peeling does not matter. I leave the peeling on mine. I do not peel my cucumber, so it's up to you what you want to do. And yes, my hands look weird because we've been out pulling tomato, um, the bad leaves off the tomatoes, and it stains my hands and it won't come off. So it's not that my hands are dirty, guys. That's what it is. I don't know who sent this dish towel, but I got it when uh, we had the gathering. And if you, cro I don't know if it's crocheted. I don't know if it's knitted. I don't know if it's on a loom. But I love this design. I love the, um, the way it's made. And it's like the perfect dishcloth. So if you made this, would you please contact me? I would love to get you to make me some more. This is like an awesome design. It works well for washing dishes. I love an open weave and this is perfect. So please, will you contact me? Thank you. This is what I do. They're in those kind of little chunks. If you want them smaller, you make them smaller. If you want them pureed, you put them in a food processor. But that's all there is to it. Cut them up, get them ready. Um, we're going to make our sauce now, and then we're going to jar it up. Very simple, very easy. Um, this dill recipe is, it tastes good. It doesn't take long to do. And sometimes these will be soggy. Uh, when you do it, I'm not sure what causes that. Sometimes they won't. They'll still be crisp. I found that if I want them crisp, one thing I can do that helps is I can soak them at this stage in lime water for a couple of hours. Drain them, wash them really well, then soak them for an hour in ice water, and then drain it and have them ready for the jars. But I am not doing that process today. I've got tomatoes, green beans, apples, and figs to do. So today I'm only following the Ball Blue Book which says to cut them up, pack them in jars, and pour the sauce over them in water bath. We are going to be adding half of the mixture because I don't have enough cucumbers for the full mixture. It calls for a quart of vinegar. We're doing two cups. It calls for a quart of water. We're using two cups because I do not want to make a full mixture because I don't have that many cucumbers. And probably even at this, this is going to be more than I need. To that, we're adding a third of a cup of sugar, a quarter of a cup of salt, and it calls for canning salt. We use sea salt, and this is the non-iodized and that you can use canning salt or this works just as well and I've got this little tea infuser I'm going to put it in this when it starts boiling and it's got my mixed spices in it you can use um, pickling spices, mixed pickling spices it saves me using um, cloth and tying it up you can use cheesecloth and tie the end up but in this it infuses really well. I've tried it before with my pickles and no mess. I open it up, rinse it out, and we're good. So we're going to go ahead and let this boil. And once it comes to a boil, I'm going to add my spices. 
and we're going to simmer this for 15 minutes. So while we're waiting on this to infuse, I've got it on a simmer for 15 minutes. Take a coffee break. We've got our jars on the back heating up so that everything will be ready when we get ready to start. I've got my dill seed here ready to go. I've got this cup ready to pour the hot sauce over my cucumbers when we get there. And we're ready to make dill relish. We're taking our hot jars. First thing we're gonna do is add our dill so that I don't forget. And I'm putting one quarter of a teaspoon of dill per jar. I'm hoping that's gonna be a good ratio for us. I'm taking just the cucumbers that I've cut up and I'm going to fill the jar. And I've got an extra, I think it's gonna be two jars, but it might be a little more. So I've got a half pint ready just in case. That's where, when you are guessing at recipes sometimes, because you're not sure of the exact amounts when you've just got a little. Sometimes you have to have an extra jar, like eight, I've got an extra pint, but I know it's not gonna take that, so I've got an extra half pint just in case. With recipes like this, it doesn't have to always be an exact science. And we're pretty much going to need the half pint, so I'm gonna throw it in the hot water for a minute. Right on time. We're gonna take our infuser out and put it in the sink. We're going to go ahead and fill these two jars with hot liquid. I've got my caps ready. And I'm liking this wide mouth funnel. I ordered this stainless wide mouth funnel last week and I thought it would fit wide mouth jars, but it doesn't. It has the bottom fits, just regular mouth jars, but the top gives you so much more playroom that you don't spill something. And that's, that's a good thing. And you pour this hot liquid up to your rim and this smells so good. Right now, all we have is the sugary, vinegary, pickle spice smell. The dill will infuse into it as it cooks in the water bath canner. And it says to let it sit for a few days before trying them. So we have two. Let's get the little half pint. And since it's a half pint, I don't need quite as many spices for the dill. So I'm cutting back to about an eighth of a teaspoon with the dill seeds. And we're just gonna see if all these will fit into the jar. We'll kind of debubble a little if we need to and see if we can get a few more into. We're gonna wipe the rims and get these going in a water bath canner for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. 